Hi, I'm Bailey Thomas, and this is my fourth oral presentation. Today, I will be talking about the age of the trilobites. Trilobites existed during the time frame of the Cambrian period, which was roughly 520 million years ago, up until one of the major extinction periods at the end of the Permian period, which was roughly 250 million years ago. Trilobites were arthropods, which was an invertebrate animal of the large phylum called arthropoda. This phylum included other things such as insects, spiders, and even other invertebrates. The world had just gone through an ice age and the trilobites were coming forth as one of the most dominant form of life on the planet. Something that made trilobites unique for their time was that they had already developed better eyes than other forms of life, and they had a tough exoskeleton. So these two contributing factors allowed the trilobites to be so dominant during their time frame. The trilobites would molt their exoskeleton, which basically meant they would shed it as they grew and form new ones. They were able to stay alive so easily because they could burrow into the sand to avoid predators and to feed there as well. And if it came down to it, a lot of the trilobites had the ability to curl up into a ball and protect themselves with their hard exoskeleton, much like a turtle would today. All of the trilobites lived in the ocean. They inhabited mostly the lower levels of the ocean and the ocean floor. Although it has been thought that some trilobites may have been able to exist in freshwater, no freshwater trilobite has ever been found. Most of the trilobites would burrow into the sand and the mud. There were few that could swim above the bottom of the ocean floor. The trilobites' diet consisted of mushy, easy-to-eat prey, things like worms. They would also do things like sift through the mud on the ocean floor to find very small food particles for them to eat. So how trilobites came to exist is quite mysterious. Their origins lie in the Precambrian puzzle, which is traced back to be a very tough time to understand our Earth's history. Though it is hard to tell how they came to be, it is very evident that they were kings of the Precambrian explosion. So for the next 250 million years, they would dominate the sea. Trilobites had a unique structure to their body. You may think they were named starting with tri for their head, body, and tail, but they are named trilobites because of the three lobes that divide their body's symmetry. Scientists have stated that these trilobites would develop and evolve into over 20,000 more species in the ocean. They existed for around 250 million years to 300 million years. Trilobites had a lot of diversity in their sizes. Some trilobites could get up to 70 meters long, and others were only one centimeter long. On top of that, the biology of trilobites was so diverse. Some trilobite species had huge eyes and a skinny body for the open ocean column they were living in. While on the other hand, some trilobites had no eyes and were much wider for deeper depths in the ocean. So basically, the habitat they lived in, they would adapt to for survival 
and have an easier time of living. Scientists and paleontologists know how trilobites existed through their fossils and their remains. They are literally everywhere on the globe and found on rocks everywhere. It is very rare to find a whole body of trilobite intact. Most of the fossils found are just pieces of the body they have to put together. When trilobites die, the ocean current would tear apart pieces of the trilobites and scatter them everywhere. Also on top of that, other animals would scavenge these invertebrates and tear them apart even more. Trilobites were practically everywhere on the globe. Entire areas have been declared as zones for their remains scattered all over the earth. You can find their fossils preserved in slates, shale, and other types of rocks. Their fossils have been discovered in places like the Himalayan mountains and areas around California's Death Valley. They've also been uncovered in remote places in Russia and near a lot of major North American cities. Trilobites are the state fossils of Ohio, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Like almost every other living thing that exists, the age of the trilobites came to an end with an extinction period at the end of the Permian period about 250 million years ago. When I think of mass extinction, I think of how the dinosaurs came to be extinct, a massive meteor barrage. There was no meteor strikes for the trilobites though. They simply died from the rapidly changing climate. Earth was starting to go through some very dramatic climate changes like global warming. At this time, volcanoes became very active, especially in what is present-day Serbia. All the lava and eruptions from the volcanoes produced a lot of greenhouse gases that warmed our planet globally. One of the main gases released uh, from the eruption of the volcanoes was carbon dioxide. And it was pumped straight into the ocean. The carbon dioxide would dissolve into the ocean water and soon the ocean water was very toxic, too toxic for many living creatures. And on top of that, it is also said that because of all the greenhouse gases and climate change in the water, the oxygen levels were being decreased. This made it tougher for marine life to get their oxygen in their gills to breathe. It is said that because of this global warming, the ocean water temperature increased an incredible amount, up to 14.5 degrees Fahrenheit warmer. As you can imagine, most animals and creatures would succumb to such dramatic climate changes. For the, tri for the trilobites, the process took about 200,000 years for them to die. Now, geologically speaking, that is a pretty quick time frame. New species of trilobites are still being dis discovered today. If the great extinction of the Permian time period did not happen, it is very possible that trilobites would still be with us today. Thanks for watching.